Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's Friday. It's Shabbat. My name is Marty. I'm married to a beautiful woman named Jennifer. And you have tuned in to House of Worship twice a week, Tuesday and Friday, 7 o'clock Central. We gather together to meet with you, our House of Worship family and friends, and we sing, and we pray, and we praise, and we think, and we talk, and we get to know one another. And I, if you were watching our little roll in, you were watching my bar mitzvah. <laughs> so this song that I feel to open with today has nothing to do with bar mitzvah. It's actually is sung at a wedding, a wedding you might have seen in a movie called Fiddler on the Roof. But this film reminds me of this the sentiment in this song, even though it's about a wedding it's, or it's done with a wedding in mind, it still applies to what I just saw on my daughter Misha's roll in tonight, which I think was absolutely in the spirit because we don't talk about what she's gonna send, but it was absolutely the perfect thing. Misha, great job. <laughs> I did sing this at her wedding to Joshua, and I'd like to begin tonight with that as we enter into Shabbat. I think a lot of you can relate to the sentiment in this song. Is this the little girl I carry? Is this the little boy at play? I don't remember growing older When did they When did she get to be a beauty When did he grow to be so tall Wasn't it yesterday when they were small. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly blow the day. Flowers blossoming even as we gaze. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly fly the years. One season following another. With happiness and tears. Now is this little boy a bridegroom? Now is this little girl a bride? Under the canopy I see them. Side by side Place the gold ring around her finger Share the sweet wine and break the glass Soon the full circle will have come Oh yes, how it comes Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly fly the days. Seedlings turn overnight to sunflowers. Fly 
blossoming even as we give sunrise sunset sunrise sunset swiftly flow the years one season following another laden with happiness and tears sunrise sunset sunrise sunset swiftly flow the day seedlings turn overnight to sunflowers Blossoming even as we gaze Sunrise, sunset Sunrise, sunset How swiftly fly the years One season following another Laden with happiness and the tears one season following another laden with happiness and tears lots of happiness that we just saw in that film lots of Tears have been shed since those days because many of those people are gone from the earth. <laughs> but one season following another, but in you, Yeshua. Swiftly fly the days, swiftly flow the years. Swiftly flow the days, swiftly fly the years. However you say it, <laughs> it's true. Well, before we light our candles and celebrate Shabbat, one of the people that my, you saw on that film, my grandmother, my grandfather, all those people, one person they really liked from the Christian world was a man named Pat Boone. And a few weeks ago, I got the privilege of sitting with Pat Boone uh, in a house in California. And he, got, he sat and sang the lyrics and the melody to a song. He wrote the words for this song, which celebrated the birth of the state of Israel. You know the song. Our friends Greg and Dee Dee love it. I hope they're listening or they can find it. But we're going to play it and then we're going to light our candles and celebrate Shabbat. This land to me 
this brave and ancient land to me. And when the morning sun reveals her hills and plains, then I see a land where children can run free. So take my hand and walk this land with me. And walk this lovely land with me. Though I am just a man, when you are by my side, with the help of God, I know I can be strong. Yes, this land is mine. God gave this land to me, this brave and ancient land to me. And when the morning sun reveals her hills and plains, then I see a land where children can run free. And walk this land with me And walk this golden land with me Though I am just a man When you are by my side With the help of God I know I can be strong to make this land our own. If I must fight, I'll fight to make this land our home. Until I die. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kabod Malhuto Leolam Boed Leolam Boed Get ready, hon. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one and blessed be his name whose glorious kingdom is forever is forever your kingdom Once again, 
to light the... Oh, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> He's squishing me. <laughs> and we're going to light the candles of Shabbat as I did so often. You might have seen, if you were here early, you might have seen my grandfather Elias, my grandmother uh, Lillian, my grandmother Sarah. My, my father's father was not there. He had mental issues. And I think by, 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 my, by my bar mitzvah, I'm not even sure he was still alive. But he had a hard life. And... Uh, and but every Friday, every Shabbat, I would go to my grandparents' house. And uh, I always had the privilege of, of singing a few of the chants, but we always lit the candles. And it says we were commanded to light them, but we really aren't commanded. But you know what we are commanded to do, honey? We are commanded to be the light of the world. Yeah, we true. are commanded. Yeah, yeah. We are commanded to have our candles yeah. lit. <laughs> so this is kind of a picture of what the Lord wants in this dark world. Yeah. He wants the light of his presence. You know what, honey, honey, it reminds me of the beginning of Schindler's List. Oh. When they, when they lit the candle, yeah. the Shabbat candle, yeah. and it was like in, in, in color. Yes. And then they faded and it went into black and oh, white yes. because the Holocaust was yes, coming. Yes. But that one little candle, as Bishop Fulton Sheen said on, the, uh, on his show, which came out of Ohio where I was born, if everyone lit just one little candle, what a bright world this would be. So there you go. I've got Catholicism. Yeah. I've got Judaism. Yeah. I've got Messianic. Belief. I just want to say that. And it, I have it, a beautiful wife. Thank you, dear. If you tuned in a little late or you tuned in at 7 o'clock, um, the lead-in tonight was footage from Marty's Bar Mitzvah when he was in 1965. That's right. And it, just as a timepiece, it's just so much fun to watch. <laughs> the hairdos, the clothes. Very bittersweet. Yeah, very sweet. So um, in a rerun, you know, when this is over, go back and watch that if you'd like. But we are going to light the lights of Shabbat and we are going to remember our brothers and sisters all over the world and in Israel particularly where they are lighting their Shabbat candles and they're getting, they're preparing for Passover and it will be a Passover like they've never had. Although they did have a Passover like that 4,000 years ago when the original Passover happened and God mm -hmm. led them out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. in, God led them from captivity. About 3,500 years ago. Yeah, God about, led yeah. them from captivity mm -hmm. into freedom. Yes, from and darkness to light. And that's what we're believing. Yes. That's what we're believing. Amen. For the Jewish people. Amen. So, so much go. going on this week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Are you having oh, problems? Okay, there it, you go. Okay, Let go. there be light. Here we go. Yehi or in Hebrew. <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Gichanu Bo Mitzvotav Vitzivanu Lahad Likner Lahad Likner Shel Shabbat Blessed art thou, O Lord our God mm -hmm king of the universe mm -hmm. who invites us to light the mm -hmm. lights of Shabbat. Mm -hmm. And Lord, just as you said in John 17, you said, sanctify them by your truth. As you have sent me into the world and I have sanctified myself, I also send them into the world and I sanctify them, set them apart. And that's what this cup does, the Kiddush cup sets apart the Shabbat from every other day of the week. And so, Lord, we enter into your Shabbat with the baracha over this cup of this juice or wine or whatever it is you have in your cup. But we know this, our cups run over Amen. Yeshua. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu melech alam borei peri hagafen Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Amen. And Lord, we know you're the vine. We're the branches. Help us to abide in you even tonight, Lord, that we would bring forth fruit for you. 
Amen. Amotzi lechem in haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices raised in grateful chorus as this prayer of thanks is said. I'm not sure those are the right words. Look at this very, very big challah. Very big challah from Publix. So let's, yes, go ahead, honey. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech alam hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Amen. And the bread of life is Yeshua, who came down from heaven. Yes, Lord. And gave us his body to eat. Mm. And though this is not communion, when we do this, we do this in remembrance of him. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Yeshua. Amen. Mm. And I had some requests tonight. And I'm just going to start right in. From Psalm 46, I think this applies to everything we've seen happening this week. So much is happening. If I just may, may say, we're, we're heading into the 12th of Nisan on the Hebrew calendar. That's tomorrow, Saturday. Sunday is the 13th of Nisan when the leaven is cleaned out of the houses of Israel or whoever wants to honor the Lord to cleanse their house of leaven, which is a type of sin. And then the 14th of Nisan is the eve of Pesach. And the 15th of Nisan is Passover. And then begins a seven week festival the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Chag HaMatzot. A little leaven leavens the whole lump, says the Apostle Paul. He also says, so let us celebrate this upcoming feast. Let us celebrate it, not with the old leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the new unleavened bread of righteousness and truth. For you kids, you and we, if we believe in Yeshua, we are unleavened. We are unleavened. Why? Because Messiah, our Passover, was sacrificed for us. So that's what we have coming up this week. But tonight, as some of you might already know, because I've gotten some wonderful cards and wonderful gifts, thank you all so much for thinking of me, emails, texts. Can you tell them your birthday's tomorrow? Yes, I was just about to say, because on April 20, which actually in about two minutes, we go into sundown, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. It's gonna be sunset here in Tennessee. And that will begin for me on the Hebrew calendar, the day of my birth, back in 19... <laughs> So, a lot is going on here. But the main thing that we want to celebrate is this amazing thing that happened when the enemies of Israel launched their rockets and their missiles, and yet they were thwarted. And Israel is showing great restraint and great wisdom. I think, sorry to say this as an American, I really do, I'm almost sorry to say it, but. I really believe that the tip of the spear on this earth right now, when it comes to the events of the world, I think it's in Jerusalem. I just think it is. It's almost like the, 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 the focus has shifted, at least for now. So that's okay, because a lot of good things are in store for America as well. I really, I believe that. And Psalm 46 tells us, Come, behold the works of the Lord. How he has wrought the desolations and how, how he has brought his early help. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. When the nations rage and all 
the kingdoms fall He says I am I am I am all And there's a river whose streams make glad The city of a God They flow to his holy habitation They flow to the home of the Most High the Lord of hosts, he's with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. He breaks the board, he shatters the spear, and says, I am, I am, I am here. Yes, you are, Lord. Yes, you are. So we will not fear, though this world should change, though the waters roar, though the mountains shake and tremble, for he's a prize and a help in trouble. In trouble. And know that I am a God, I am exalted in the nations, and I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. I am peace, he says I am, I am, I am peace. How lovely on. The mountains are the feet of them who bring good news. Good news, the good news of Yeshua, announcing peace, proclaiming news of happiness. Our God reigns, our God reigns. Great song by a brother named Lenny Smith. We consider a friend. Let's sing it together. How lovely on the mountains are the feet of them. They bring good news. You bring good news, kids. Good news. Yes, Lord, anoint our feet to bring announcing peace. Proclaiming of happiness <laughs> yes our God reigns our God reigns let's sing our God reigns yes our God reigns our God reigns our God reigns Yeshua reigns Yeshua reigns, Yeshua reigns, Yeshua reigns, our God reigns, our God reigns, our God reigns, Yeshua reigns. Yeah.
the ends of the earth. You cause all wars to cease and say, I am, I am, I am peace. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for preserving and protecting Israel. And, and also, Lord, that Iran is smart enough to know that they have met their match. Because it's not just Israel against Iran. It's the God of Israel against the Prince of Persia. <laughs> who rules that part of the world. The Prince of Persia is no match. The Lord God of Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, no match at all. But in the midst of it all and celebrating that and being grateful for it, we can never forget. I didn't wear my pin tonight, I should have. We never forget that there are still people being held hostage, not just Israelis, but people from other nations as well, including Americans, being held hostage. And somebody requested this song, and I think it's a beautiful song to play as we think about that. Song written by a fellow named Andy Saditsky, a Jewish believer who writes great songs. And this is based on 137. I think about those people that are in a strange land amongst a strange people. Just as our people were exiled to, to nations not their own, away from the land to which they have been brought back, by the way. And they will, in my opinion, well, unless there's thousands of years left on this earth, seems like they're there to stay, at least that's how I see it. Only God knows. But for now, Israel is home and fighting for her life. <laughs> and we fight with her. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat remembering Zion. And we wept and cried as we hung there our hearts. By the rivers of Babylon, the ones that led us away from Zion, there they mocked us, and they asked of us a song. But how can we sing the Lord's song? How can we sing the Lord's song? How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, Jerusalem, may I forget the skill within my head. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat remembering the word of our fathers, how his word is true, and there we spoke of his promises, how he would free us from our bondage through Messiah, his only 
what they do said the one they call king of the Jews truly this was the son of God said the Roman soldier marveling at the way he died that day God, the love of God. Can you see on that tree the love of God? The love of God, the love of God, therefore you. For me, the love of God. He bleeds for you. He pleads for you who are needy. Oh, to let him be the love of God. Love of God, can you see on that tree the love of God? He gave all for you. Here I'm called to you, you who are weary. Come to
to you, you who are weary, come to me, the There for you, there for me, the love of God. Here for you, here for me, here for I'm going to ask Jenny, there was another request, honey, I can't remember. But you kids, there's so much on my mind tonight. Just it occurred to me as I was singing that song, you know, we talk a lot about Israel. And we should. But all over the, na all over the world, there are Christians, people who love Jesus sitting in prisons, being tortured, being killed. You know, in Iran, it is not the people of Iran who hate Israel. It's the leadership, the Islamist leadership. As a matter of fact, I've heard that one of the biggest revivals in the world is going on in Iran right now. The Persians, the Iranians, and the Israelis, the Jews, they could be best of friends. After all, in Iran, when it was Persia, they had a Jewish queen named Esther. <laughs> we have so much in common. But as I was singing that song about, you know, the love of God, I just thought about how that cross, interestingly enough, that, that if you tuned in earlier, you see that young bar mitzvah boy, Marty Getz. Well, I just want to say something. That boy, that kid, he doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> because I have been crucified with Christ. And if you believe, so have you. When Yeshua went to that execution stake, to that tree, he not only took my sin upon him, he took me upon him. In other words, I was put to death too. I no longer live. It is Messiah who lives in me and you too. So that means all over the world, there's people who are part of that same body of Messiah who are suffering. We never can forget that. But they're suffering for the sake of the name of the God of Israel in his son, Yeshua. They're all tied together. So if they are attacking Israel, they are attacking Jesus himself because he is the promised son. He's the promised son of David, the root and the offspring of David. And one day he'll sit on the throne of David. It's an interesting thing. I don't, tonight is not, there's not long enough tonight to talk about everything I want to talk about, but Jenny suggested I might play this song. And I think it's appropriate considering that role in the Jenny that Misha put together. Interestingly enough, back in 1965, on a Saturday morning, I read from the Torah, the five books of Moses. And interestingly enough, tonight, on my birthday, com coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow, the Torah portion is the exact portion that I read at my bar mitzvah, Mitzorah, 
which means leper. <laughs> I was singing about leprosy. Do you believe that? I didn't know. I didn't know what I was singing about, but everybody said he sings so pretty, he sings so nice. But I'm just thinking a lot about my family, Jenny's family, and how many of our people have gone. But here we are, Jenny and I, we're the last of a line, the last of the line in our families. But, as Jewish people I mean, but the first of a line of hopefully many, many believers to come, starting with our daughter Misha and her husband Josh and Caleb and Samuel and Lillian. So Lord, thank you that though that little Marty gets, who was bar mitzvahed in Cleveland, had to be put to death. Thank you for breathing your life into this person. And now I still live, but it is you who live in me and in Jenny and in all our friends in the house of worship who believe in you. What a great exchange, Lord. Our life for yours, such a deal. <laughs> See, I had a bar mitzvah when I was 13. The greatest bar mitzvah that you've ever seen. The temple on the corner of Mayfield and Lee was filled with my friends and my family. All of them proud as proud could be with catering far as the eye could see. Complete with a chopped liver statue of me. But now they ask me how I could go so wrong and why all of a sudden I'm singing this song. They say, son, you're deserting your fathers of old, so why don't you just come back to the fold? You're such a nice boy, or weren't you told that when you were born they broke the mold? So what do you need with this stuff you've been sold? But it's... Far, far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done When I believe what they said was true That Yeshua is God's only son Well, I've done many things and I don't do a few But this one thing I do made me a Jew born anew Yes, through and through I'm a Jew born anew so hallelujah to Yeshua from a Jew who never knew he could come to die for a schmo like I was just so I could win the prize and be with my Messiah in the skies. They say I'm bar mitzvah day I became a man. I tried to live that way, done the best that I can, but I've been worried since way back when, cause I've never done anything great since then. And though I could live till 110, and never have need of a fountain pen, I might never succeed in the sight of men, and they won't let me get bar mitzvah again. But it's... A far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done When I believe what they said was true That Yeshua is God's only son Well, I've done many things and I don't do a few But this one thing I do made me a Jew born anew Yes, through and through I'm a Jew but born anew so hallelujah to you, Yeshua, from the Jew who never knew he uh, could come to die for a real shlemio, one who couldn't tell you were the long-awaited Holy One of Israel. Let me in 
introduce him to ya. He's our blessed Messiah. He's the Lion of Judah. And he wants to do to ya what he did to me. came to live in a schlep like I was. Yep, it's true on Christmas morn, the truest Jew that ever was, was born. Yes, Lord, you're the true Jew. So I sing like And that's no lie, 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 Am I? Hey! Yes, thank you, honey. Hey, bye. Oh, there you go. Good for you. Come on in. So, thank you, kids, for listening to that. Oh, can I say one yes, thing? Yes, yes, yes. We talked about Passover, but these four days, Nisan 10, we're going into the 12th and to the 14th. These are the days where Yeshua was examined by our people and found there was no fault found in him. There was no stain, no wrinkle, no, lepro no leprosy of sin in him. And he was the Passover lamb. Just as Passover was the deliverance of our people from Egypt, so Passover was fulfilled in Yeshua, and he has delivered us all, yes, he Jew has. and Gentile yes, alike, first Israel, then the nations. Yes, We're all free in him. Mm -hmm. And so if you've never received Yeshua, mm -hmm. make this the Passover where you mm -hmm. say, Lord, you are our Passover yes. and I want your blood to mm -hmm. cover me yes. and I want your spirit to yes. fill me. Yes. I give myself to you. Please give yourself yes. to me in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Um, I want to pray yes. for... We might go a little over Yeah, too, we're going to go a little over time tonight. So mm -hmm. Lord, we lift up for, Father God, we lift up yes, our Lord. speaker, the yes, speaker Lord. of the house to you, Mike Johnson. Mm -hmm. And we pray against a spirit of confusion and a spirit of disruption. And we ask God that you would give him the spirit of God to flow through him and to just rise up to whatever occasion there is going on right now in our government that would try to cause great confusion we ask you to give him wisdom in jesus name mm -hmm. and lord we ask you i just read that there was a huge explosion mm, really? um mm. at a, something in iraq mm. but it's something that's run by Ira iran so mm. i'm not quite sure what that is but lord we lift up israel to you yes lord. again father mm -hmm. god and we ask you father to fight on her behalf yes, lord. to give the generals in the army wisdom, to give Benjamin Netanyahu wisdom. Mm -hmm. Give Joe Biden wisdom yes, and lord. Anthony Blinken yes, wisdom. Yes, Lord. And our, and yes, our government Lord. Our wisdom. government wisdom. Yes, Lord. Father God, I pray that we would not mm -hmm. abandon Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. And Lord, we lift up the hostages to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It feels mm -hmm. like this war is kind of clouding over the fact that there's 130 people who mm -hmm. are being held prisoner and hostage. And God, I pray that you would be protecting them. I pray that they would be alive. I pray that they would be returned. And I pray that this war would come to an end. I pray that you would protect the innocent people in Gaza who don't want this war. I pray that you would protect the innocent people in Iran who don't want this war. There are many, many, many people, God, that do not want to fight Israel. 
So God, we just ask you please to protect them, protect Israel, bring home our hostages. And we ask this all in the name of Jesus. And um, as you know, tomorrow's Marty's 72nd birthday. Oh, you gave it away. And when when, (laughs) when he turned 70, um, my daughter had something special made for him. It's, it's the scripture of Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. And it's basically, let us set aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And I didn't read the first part. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. And Marty wrote a song called Let Us Run. And he went through a very, 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 very hard time many years ago. His grandmother um, passed away and he felt responsible that he wasn't praying at the time of her death. And he just went through a real dark time. And then the Lord spoke this scripture to his heart. Let us run the race with endurance. And so it was really liberating. Mm-hmm. And this is, it's kind of hard to see, I think, but this is, this is what Misha had made for him. And we just made it available on our website. And this is what we, whoops, this is what we did with it. We, we framed it. I hope you can see this. It's beautiful. Um, Yours will not have this thing at the bottom. That's to commemorate his birthday. But um, it's available on our website now. But it's not framed. It's not it's framed. It's this. It's yeah, the. It's, it's, it's the. It's, it's, the <laughs> it's the calligraphy with the with the gold gold leaf, and it's very beautiful. And um, so these are perilous times we're living in, they but are. God is faithful. And we'll be with you next Tuesday. Oh, and I do want to mention again, there's there's a person out there who's imitating Marty on Facebook. Our Facebook page is down. If anyone messages you and says they're Marty Gets, they are not. And so don't be fooled by him, okay? Um, and he used to take our house of worships and actually post them on his page. But I think since I keep telling people that he's a fraud, he doesn't do that anymore. He just takes all our pictures from Instagram. And uh, I don't know why he's doing this, but actually he's trying to sell bitcoins. Yeah. And he's trying to lure you into it. So please, please ignore him. And um, what else? Um, If you'd like to support Marty Gets Ministries, you can visit our website. And also, we will be with you on Tuesday. We won't be with you next Friday because it's Passover and Misha and her family will be here. Um, But we'll be with you the following Tuesday. And we just love you so much, and we're so grateful for you. And I pray that God blesses you, and I pray that God gives you the desires of his heart. I don't think it says, does the Bible say that God will give you the dar- desires of, of, your your, of your heart? Mm-hmm. But, but, but you delight in him. You delight in the Lord, and he, and will, he will give, give you, you the right. desires of your heart. Right. So as you delight in the Father, he puts, the Father yeah. puts his desires in you. So be glad in the Lord and Amen. rejoice. Amen. And if you'd like to join our mailing list, it's uh, go to our website. There's a way to sign up there. And we do have a House of Worship uh, Facebook page that you have to be, Misha has to clear you because there's been some fraudulent stuff there as well. So be patient with us if we don't uh, get you in right away. But thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope I wasn't too long-winded. No, it was wonderful. And keep praying for one another. If you want to keep in touch, does Ivy keep kind of... I, Ivy, Ivy's like the mommy. I, Ivy is our... Ivy, uh, Ivy is our uh, prayer mama. <laughs> Young prayer mama on Facebook. So we didn't get a chance to mention people, but we pray for you. Jenny and I cannot really express how much this has meant to, to us. Matter of fact, Jenny, yesterday uh, I, was out, as I, I was out with our friend Aaron Schust. Uh, for for a little coffee time that we we, we had set up and I, we were sitting there and a woman came up to me her name was Lee Hardy and she told us that her mom L- Linda Marshall 
in Connecticut, Linda Marshall, watches us and, and was very excited that, uh, that I was in Nashville and where her, her daughter Lee is. So a little shout out to Linda and to all of you. Once again, I, I didn't have time to thank everybody who sent cards and gifts and emails and texts, and we just appreciate you so much. And uh, on a night like tonight, I get a little, sometimes a little bit verklempt, as we say in Yiddish. And I, I have to, I, I haven't apologized for a long time, but I was a little bit sloppy on, the, on my, on my really. I felt like I wasn't quite, I was coming in a little cold today. There's a lot going on here, by the way, kids. Jenny and I have been dealing a lot with a lot of things. Like for instance, I lost my wallet after my breakfast with my brother Aaron. And uh, I had to go back into town and find it today. Somebody retrieved it and didn't steal it. Isn't that good? <laughs> so anyway, I'm 72, but I'm still pushing on a little slower. A little, you know, a little more, a little aches and pains and things like that. But let's keep pressing on, kids. I played this last time, but in honor of what uh, what we presented to you tonight and that offer of that uh, Hebrews 12, 1, two, 1 through 2, I'm going to play it again because it's kind of become kind of my life verse. And it fits with what we started with. We're surrounded by so many saints of God, so many people who have gone before, so many people who will come after, but here we are, it's our turn, so get in your lane, <laughs> put on those running shoes that carry the gospel, and wait for that starting gun, and then sprint into your race with your eyes only on Yeshua. That's it. Not on men, not on nations, not on even ideologies, not on words given by other people necessarily, though those are always often good, but mainly we have to have our eyes set on him because he's our goal, right? He's where we're going. Lord, Lord, give us the strength to run. Do you see how we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses? Those who paid the price, the supreme sacrifice, those of whom this world was not worthy. Let us run, run, run the race with endurance, laying aside every weight, casting aside every sin. Let us run, run, fixing our eyes on the sun, looking to him, finishing what we've begun. Let us run. Now we have been entrusted with continuing what others started. Yes, they have passed the baton straight and fast till we've won. We will run for him who is holy. Let us run, run, run the race with endurance, laying aside every weight, casting aside every sin. Let us run, run, fixing our eyes on the sun, looking to him, finishing what we begun. Let us run. There are some who have stumbled, fallen. God only knows I am one. 
Still I press toward the goal for the Lord who's calling me. He's gone before, he's my reward. When I am done, let us run. Laying aside every weight, casting aside every sin. Cast out that old leaven, kids. Oh yes, let's, let's, let us run, run. Fixing our eyes on the sun, looking to him, finishing what we've begun. Let us run, run. Fixing our eyes on the sun, looking to him, finishing what he's begun. Let us run. in our hearts to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he may grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit, by his breath, by his wind in the inner man, that Messiah may dwell in you in your hearts by faith, by faith. And that you, being rooted and grounded in love, because love never fails. Amen. Love never fails. To be able to comprehend with all the saints, before, now, and after, what is the length and breadth and depth and height to know the love of Messiah, which passes knowledge that you, that we, that all our brothers and sisters across this globe may be filled with all the fullness of our God. And now to him who is able to do to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ask, all we can think, all of the glory be to you who are able to do, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can hope, all we can dream, all of the glory be. Aren't you grateful for Yeshua? I can't even believe that he would want me in his father's house. Isn't that wonderful that he chose us to be in his family, to be our big brother, our savior, our Lord, so that our Abba, our father, could have his house filled with his children, and he could pronounce the blessing over them as we pronounce over you tonight. <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep you. <laughs> the Lord make his beautiful face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
Isadonai, Pana Velecha, Viasem Lecha Shalom. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give to you his peace. And more than you can ask, more than you can think, more than you can hope or dream, Lord, all glory be. Thank you, Lord, for giving me birth, for giving us all birth, and for giving us a second birth so that we could be with you forever. In Yeshua's name, we thank you, Father, and bless you in the power of your Spirit. See you Tuesday, right in the midst of Pesach, Passover. Shalom, everybody. Mwah. Shabbat shalom.